Every year I try and make a plane that gets higher and higher high alpha. Last year we had the F-18 V3 and that was the best, most stable, highest high alpha plane we ever done made. This year we've got a plane that hovers. It actually stands on its tail and hovers. You got your buddies at Fly 3D, the Yaks, Cap 232s. You can take this park jet out and hover with those guys. This video I want to do an introduction to the Su-30 V4 hovering park jet and the three big challenges that we were determined to finally break through this year. And here they are. Number one is we wanted to make a hovering park jet that didn't need heavy modifications to hover. Now there's been hovering park jets out for many years. But if you look at them all, they're all kind of homemade Johnnies. And we've had a few of these over the years. And you've got stuff like counter-rotating props and lots of gyros and bags of servos. And there's more going on than the average guy is going to want to tackle. You know what I mean? We wanted to build something that anybody could fly. Simple stuff. The Su-30 V4, mine flies off of a microjet, 3-cell, 1300, 6x4 uh, prop. Um, I've even got the big servos on it, hot glue. And yet the plane hovers. It's designed to hover and be at its best performance with the stock stuff we all fly with. And sure, build it light, use foam tack, put gyros in it, smaller, stronger servos. Great. It's only going to be better, but it doesn't need it. The trick has been over the years chasing how the complicated park jets are hovering, finding what the numbers are, the dimensions are, the balance. There's so much going on there. Really getting to the core of that and then building a simple version inside this new plane. And it's like anything else. You know, the first years, RC helicopters were out. They're extremely heavy and complicated and expensive. And now they're $20 and fly out of the palm of your hand. Same idea here. The bigger, complicated ones pioneered the way for the simpler ones to be here. And here it is. So that's the first thing. No heavy modifications. Fly stock. Hovers and it's stock setup. The second thing is, we wanted it to look scale. Again, there's a lot of hovering park jets out there, but they don't look scale. They don't look like a scale fighter jet. Remember the pogo from Hobby Lobby? Hobby Dash Lobby? And you got a Christmas tree looking thing, and it's got all the right numbers, so all the right dimensions, hovers really well. But, uh, you know, we wanted something really cool, really menacing, really scale. We didn't want people to see it and go, oh, you're trying to do a hovering thing, aren't you? No, we wanted people to see that's a fighter jet. Wait, how are you hovering it? When we take this thing out to the field, nobody is expecting this plane as it's flying around. It's actually a little faster than I was expecting it to be. Flying it around, doing the loops, rolls, tricks, all this kind of stuff, and then boom, comes right up into a hover. People are thoroughly impressed. So that's the second thing. This plane looks and feels scale. And the third thing is, we wanted to make sure the pilot didn't have to have this extraneous workload of dialing stuff in himself. The center of gravity is too picky, or you have to adjust gyros, or your servo throws, or all these things just to get it to hover. And if it's not hovering, it's because you didn't set it up right. No, 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 no. We want it so the average guy, half awake with one hand, can set the plane up, not paying attention, throw it in the air, and it's still going to hover. And that's what we've got here. The instructions are incredibly clear. Here's where the battery goes. It's got CG marks, control throws. Here's where we put the servos. Everything is thought through. Everything is laid out in clear detail. So you put this plane together and it is going to hover. You don't got to worry about all the little details. All of that has been done for you. So those are the three big breakthroughs. It flies off of stock parts. It looks really cool. And you don't got to dial it in. Guys are reporting flying this plane off of no trim. No trim. Build it, fly it, no trim. How's that? So that's a quick introduction of our Su-30 V4 hovering park jet. I've got a link down below to the forum thread. Read about it, see pictures, videos, and it comes in the V4 package with three other brand new park jets.